Scott served the youth of this church because he had a driving passion for young people, especially young men. And for the almost a little over 10 years, I got a front row seat to what he taught them. I don't think there'll be another map drawn quite as good as the Battle of Mount Tabor. I don't think there'll be quite as many jokes told that were a little bit inappropriate, but still pretty funny. I don't think I'll laugh quite as much, but that's okay. Scott and I went to a youth conference, our first for both of us, and he looked, look at all these pogues with skinny jeans. <laughs> but in that, we learned something about the tribe. Now, Scott being Scott, he wasn't just going to take somebody else's word. He made it his own. And I've been honored enough to get to teach that several times with my friend. One of the points in the lesson of the tribe is from Galatians 6.2. It says, bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Scott picked me up when I was burdened. He picked many of you up when you were burdened. And tribe, it's our turn. Scott loved Lynn and Thomas. He loved Andrew and Taylor and the boys. And we love you too. Would you pray with me? Almighty God, thank you for your servant, Scott Egan. Thank you that he has heard, well done. That he is now on the streets of gold and dancing and partying and hooting and hollering for your glory. Thank you that he embraced the mountain and he embraced the valley. He embraced thunder and lightning. He embraced us all. And he did it so that we could see you more clearly. You are the God of the cross. You are the God of the resurrection. We grieve. We miss our friend. We miss our loved one, Scott. But we have hope. We have you. Be with us, our God of the tribe. We love you. And we love Scott. Amen.